welcome to this video explaining how to get started with the Wi-Fi STM32 Nucleo Expansion Board. This board is part of the STM32 open development environment, a fast and affordable way to prototype and develop innovative devices and applications with state-of-the-art ST components. Information on how to obtain the board can be found at st.com slash xnucleo under the reference xnucleo IDW01M1. The package includes the board itself and an insert card that provides a first level of information on the main features. The board is built around the SPWF01SA Wi-Fi module. This module is compliant with 802.11b, G, and N standards and has a built-in antenna. The board is equipped with Arduino Uno R3 and ST Morpho connectors, allowing it to be plugged into an STM32 Nucleo development board. To start building your prototype, plug the STM32 Nucleo expansion board onto an STM32 Nucleo development board. The list of compatible boards can be found on st.com. Next, connect the STM32 Nucleo development board to a PC using a mini USB cable. The board is automatically detected and seen as a disk drive. Visit st.com and search for the keyword XNucleo IDW01M1. Click on the main part number link. Then go to the Tools and Software section and click on the Xcube link. Finally, go to the end of the page and click on the Download button in the Get Software section. When downloaded, just unzip the file in the folder you want. In the software package, you will find directories with all the required material. Now, let's try a sample application that allows you to fetch the content of a web page. Before launching the application, you need to set up some additional elements, a Wi-Fi router and a second PC that will act as a server. On this PC, install a web server application, such as the well-known Apache software. Connect the first PC, which acts as the client, to the STM32 Nucleo board using a terminal application configured at 115,200 baud. Then install the firmware called HTTP Request. It can be found in the Applications folder of the Projects directory, as shown here. Select the STM32 Nucleo development board you are using and drag and drop the binary file onto the Nucleo disk drive. On the terminal window, you will be prompted to set up the Wi-Fi connection with the router, providing the required information. When done, the board connects to the Apache server through the Wi-Fi router and performs an HTTP request and loads the web page. Other examples are available in the software package, allowing you to quickly develop your own application using Wi-Fi connectivity. A comprehensive set of documentation for the STM32 Nucleo Expansion Board, including a user manual, application notes, quick start guide, and data sheet, is also available. Visit st.com STM32ODE.